You're about to see some affordable day trading starting right now. Here's the setup for today's featured trade. When you're going to trade the day session, especially in the morning, here's how you can avoid surprises. Check the morning news. Here's a report for July 13th on a Wednesday. You read the morning news because you want to avoid any unpleasant situations in the trading for the day, like this very critical inflation report coming out at 8.30 in the morning Eastern Time. An uninformed trader could have been slammed for as much as $860 in only five minutes. And sometimes you can even turn that around and have it to your advantage in a trade. But you always must be an informed trader. Now on this morning of July 13th, 2022, I'm going to be selling one contract of the S&P 500 Micro E-Money. It trades at $5 a point. After the smash down at 8.30 that I just described to you, for the next hour, 8.30 to 9.30, you can see highlighted in yellow, the market is pretty much flat. And then again, after rising a few points between 9.30 and 10.30, same thing, it's really flat. Both the green and red lines of the MACD are still remaining below the zero line. Prices are still well below where they were at 8.29 this morning. Two other things caught my eye on this chart as I zoom in. At 11.08 when I placed this trade, it's been an hour and 38 minutes and the market still doesn't have any significant upward momentum. From about 10.40 to 11.08, prices are flat and so are those vertical green lines indicating that momentum is leveled out. So from the look in the bigger picture, it looks like I'm better off shorting a contract. I sure can't build a bullish case for prices. While I usually enter my stop loss and target price at the same time as I place the order this time, I shorted one contract at 38.15 and three quarters. And then just a few seconds later, I opened my bracket OCO and I put in a stop order and a target price. I put in a stop price way up there at $38.30, almost $75 up. I don't recommend this for beginners, but for me, I just wanted to leave some room so I could see what the trade does before I make any more big decisions. Look down at the MACD in the circle there. Usually, when I have this set up, the green line over the red line and both above the zero line, that's a buy signal. And had you bought right now, you would be up three or four points. Instead, I shorted at $38.15.75. Now, to state the obvious, you're watching this video in the future, but on July 13th at 11 o'clock in the morning, that news this morning earlier, inflation is at a 40-year high. The market's been going down, down, down for the last four or five months. And if I'm honest, when this trade went four or five points against me right from the start, I was having second thoughts about the feasibility of this trade. But lo and behold, five minutes into the trade, as you can see here, we're back to even money again. Now, had you made a buy, and you might have made four or five points there. And nobody's to say what's right or wrong in this kind of trading, but each of us is captain of our own ship, and we have our own thinking. You give the same instructions to 10 different people, you're going to get 10 different results. Trading happens between your ears. And trading works best without ego. It's not about whether you're going to be right or wrong by the money gauge. It's about your thinking. Remember at all times, the goal here is to make a trade and put yourself in a position that has a lower risk so that you have a good chance, a good possibility of making some money. And there's always more than one way to do that or not do that. Many traders, both the beginning and intermediate traders, often make the mistake there's only one way to make a trade and that everybody's out there trying to look for that one way. One of the things you're going to learn about this trading, and you're going to learn it very, very fast, a trade is not a thing that has only one solution. There's a rule of thumb in this type of trading, and it's often correct. And that rule is that between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Time in the day session, there's often a low, a flat area of little or at least smaller amount of activity. This is such a trade. It's seven minutes into the trade. I've been down $20 two or three times and back to break even a couple of times. Trades like this will test your patience. And if you get in this situation and you're uncomfortable, just cancel it even money and go find another trade. Right now, after seven minutes, I'm finally up a little money in the trade. Not once, just $15 or $20. But look at the MACD down there. The vertical green lines are getting shorter and the red and green lines are coming closer together. 
A long way from convergence yet. It's a good sign for the trade. One of the reasons I picked this trade, I wanted to show you what it's like to get caught in a midday lull. After 11 minutes, I'm not even up $20 in the trade. And now I'll get my time machine, move forward again. After 19 minutes, I'm up $50. That's a pretty good result, but it's taken over 20 minutes. Now we're up to almost 40 minutes into the trade, and I'm up $110. I'm going to fast forward again now, because this trade, we're in the midday low, and it's gone so slow. 41 minutes into the trade, and I would say for 39 of those 41 minutes, almost nothing has been happening. I'm up $76, but look at this. For the last 25 minutes, see that yellow highlight? Nothing, just flat prices. It's good that you're seeing this because you trade enough. It's going to happen. It's not if, it's when. You will get caught in a midday lull, and you'll have to stretch it out or either exit the trade and move on to greener grass. Finally, I've had enough. I'm going to take my Tastyworks mouse. I take that Tastyworks left mouse button and pull that stop all the way down to 3804 and a quarter. That locks in $57.25. Now watch this carefully. Now you know from watching so many of my videos, unless you're new to the channel, and by the way, welcome, that most of my trades last 5 to 15 minutes. This one lasted 42 minutes, and I, if I'm honest, it seemed like three hours to me. Um, I'm not a real patient person sometimes, and I made a mistake during this trade that you did not see. It wasn't on the screen. And uh, the maximum unrealized gain, look at that, $105. I wasn't at the screen when that happened. I got bored, and I was off reading something else, and I came back to the trade. And uh, had I been here, I would have locked in maybe something a lot more than 57.50, but that's okay. So you see, I made a mistake there, it cost me maybe 40 bucks, and I don't follow all the rules all the time either. I mean, who does? Hit that subscribe button, and you won't miss the new videos that are coming out each week. Before you go, I need some help. Please hit the like button. I count up the likes if you want to see another video like this one, and that helps me know what to put in the future videos. That would be great, and I really, really appreciate it. Great time today. That was a long trade. I'm Don Singletary. I hope every day is a payday for you. Thank you.